Did you know that rejection could be your greatest ally in the quest for personal growth and success? If you want to turn setbacks into stepping stones and transform every no into a powerful tool for advancement, you need to embrace these transformative strategies inspired by timeless stoic wisdom. Imagine harnessing rejection not as a blow to your self-esteem, but as a pivotal moment of opportunity. In this journey, we'll explore how to use rejection to propel yourself forward, revealing 13 powerful lessons that will change how you view and respond to life's challenges. From mastering your emotions to demonstrating your resilience, you'll learn to turn every rejection into a chance to rise stronger and wiser. So, get ready to shift your perspective, embrace rejection, and unlock a new path to personal and professional success. Dive in and discover how these ancient principles can empower you in today's world. 1. Turning Rejection into Opportunity Welcome everyone. Have you ever faced a moment when life seemed to slam a door shut in your face, only to discover later that it was actually the best thing that could have happened to you? It's an eye-opening concept, isn't it? Today, we're diving into a profound yet practical philosophy that turns the notion of rejection on its head. Imagine every no you encounter not as a defeat, but as a gateway to something even greater. That's right, what if rejection is not just an obstacle, but a secret catalyst for your success? Think back to a time when you faced rejection. Perhaps it was a job you didn't get, a relationship that didn't work out, or a dream that seemed to slip through your fingers. It's easy to remember the sting, the disappointment, and the feelings of inadequacy that accompanied those moments. But what if I told you that those very experiences of rejection are often disguised blessings? They might be the universe's way of steering you toward a path that's more aligned with your true potential. By reframing rejection as an opportunity rather than a setback, you can transform your perspective and harness its power to propel you forward. In the hustle and bustle of our everyday lives, it's easy to get bogged down by rejections and setbacks. They can feel like personal failures, moments that chip away at our confidence and self-worth. But consider this. What if rejection is actually a redirection? a nudge from the universe to push you towards something even better. By embracing this mindset, you open yourself up to new possibilities and opportunities that you might not have considered before. It's about seeing the silver lining in every cloud, the hidden opportunity in every setback. Rejection is often accompanied by a wave of emotions, disappointment, frustration, and sometimes even self-doubt. But imagine shifting those feelings from negative to positive. What if every no you receive is actually a stepping stone to a more fulfilling and rewarding path? By adopting this perspective, you begin to see rejection not as a barrier, but as a launch pad. It's a chance to reassess, realign, and redirect your efforts towards something that resonates more deeply with your goals and values. So as we explore how to turn rejection into an opportunity, I invite you to reflect on your own experiences. Think about the times when rejection seemed like the end of the road, only to later reveal itself as a detour to something greater. Embrace this mindset and allow yourself to see rejection through a new lens. It's not about denying the pain or disappointment, but about recognizing the potential that lies within every setback. By doing so, you'll find yourself better equipped to navigate the challenges that come your way, turning them into stepping stones on your journey to success. Two, ignore them, rise above indifference. We've all been there, the sting of being overlooked, ignored or dismissed. It's a universal experience that cuts across age and background, but what if I told you that ignoring those who ignore you can actually be one of the most powerful responses you can have? When someone gives you the cold shoulder, it's easy to feel hurt and want to retaliate. However, 
By choosing to rise above their indifference, you're making a bold statement about your own worth and self-respect. Picture this. You've put yourself out there, whether it's in a professional setting, a social circle, or a personal relationship, and you're met with indifference. It stings, right? It's natural to feel rejected and undervalued, but instead of allowing those feelings to consume you, consider how you can use this moment to demonstrate your strength and resilience. Ignoring those who ignore you is not about being petty or vindictive. It's about reclaiming your power and focusing on what truly matters, your own growth and happiness. Let's take a step back and think about how we usually handle indifference. Often we might try to seek validation or prove ourselves to those who've overlooked us. But what if we shifted our focus away from their behavior and redirected it toward our own personal development? By investing your energy in activities that enrich your life, whether it's pursuing a new hobby, advancing your career, or deepening meaningful relationships with those who value you, you're making a powerful statement. You're saying, I am worth more than the attention you're willing to give me, and I choose to invest my time and energy where it truly matters. Reflect on times when you've been ignored or undervalued. How did it affect you? How did you react? By adopting a mindset of rising above indifference, you're choosing to protect your self-worth and invest in your own growth. It's about building a fortress of self-respect that allows the negativity to bounce off without leaving a mark. Instead of dwelling on the pain of being overlooked, use it as a catalyst for personal growth and development. Ignoring indifference doesn't mean you're avoiding confrontation or dismissing your feelings. It means you're choosing to channel your energy into something more constructive. It's a way of saying, I'm not going to let your lack of acknowledgement dictate my sense of worth or my path forward. By focusing on your own development and surrounding yourself with those who genuinely value you, you're setting a standard for how you expect to be treated and demonstrating that you're unaffected by those who don't see your value. 3. Don't react emotionally. Master your calm. Rejection often triggers a wave of intense emotions, frustration, sadness, anger. It's a natural reaction, but here's a profound insight from Stoic philosophy. True strength lies in mastering your emotional responses. When faced with rejection, the immediate impulse might be to react impulsively, allowing your emotions to take the driver's seat. But what if you could harness the power of calmness instead? Imagine this. You've been overlooked for a job promotion or a project you poured your heart into gets rejected. The initial reaction might be a surge of frustration or sadness. It's easy to let these emotions control your response, leading to impulsive actions or decisions. But the Stoics teach us a different approach. They advocate for embracing calmness and thoughtfulness even in the face of rejection. The key is not to suppress your feelings, but to understand and manage them. When you're ignored or dismissed, take a moment to reflect on why this particular rejection bothers you so deeply. Often it's not just the rejection itself, but our own insecurities and fears that amplify the emotional impact. By acknowledging these feelings and then choosing to respond with composure, you're practicing emotional mastery that leads to personal growth. Consider a time when you reacted emotionally to a setback. How did it affect the situation? Did it lead to constructive outcomes or just more frustration? By adopting a calm and reflective approach, you can gain clarity and perspective. Instead of letting your emotions dictate your actions, focus on how you can respond thoughtfully and constructively. This approach not only helps you handle rejection more gracefully, but also fosters a deeper sense of self-awareness and resilience. Mastering your calm in the face of rejection is a transformative practice. It's about recognizing that your self-worth isn't tied to others' approval or validation. Your power lies in how you choose to respond to challenges, not in how others treat you. By embracing this mindset, 
you're not just coping with rejection, you're using it as an opportunity for growth and self-improvement. So the next time you face rejection, remember the Stoic wisdom, focus on your actions and responses, not on the external behavior of others. By maintaining your composure and practicing emotional mastery, you'll find that rejection becomes not a setback, but a stepping stone on your path to personal development and success. Remove them from your mind. Harness detachment. As we continue on this journey, let's explore a concept that's both liberating and empowering. The art of detachment. Imagine for a moment the freedom of releasing the grip that past rejections or negative experiences have on your mind. It sounds almost too good to be true, doesn't it? Yet, harnessing detachment can be one of the most effective ways to reclaim your peace and focus on what truly matters. Consider how often we allow past rejections or negative experiences to occupy our mental space. We replay conversations, second-guess decisions, and dwell on what could have been. This constant rumination can drain our energy and hinder our progress. But what if you could change the narrative? What if you could learn to let go of the emotional baggage that's weighing you down and instead channel your energy into positive actions and thoughts? Detachment doesn't mean that you disregard your feelings or memories. Rather, it's about understanding their place in your life without letting them dictate your emotional state. Think back to a time when you were preoccupied with a past rejection or a negative experience. How did it affect your daily life and overall well-being? By practicing detachment, you give yourself permission to move forward without being anchored by past disappointments. Imagine being able to approach each day with a fresh perspective, unburdened by the weight of past rejections or negative interactions. Detachment allows you to focus on the present moment and future possibilities rather than being held back by what's already happened. It's a powerful tool for mental clarity and emotional freedom. When you remove the mental clutter of past negativity, you create space for new opportunities, growth and positivity. Reflect on the ways in which detachment could transform your life. By releasing the hold of past rejections, you open yourself up to new experiences and relationships. You'll find that your mind is clearer, your focus sharper, and your overall sense of well-being enhanced. It's about reclaiming your mental space and redirecting your energy toward what truly enriches your life. So, as you move forward, practice detachment by acknowledging your past experiences without letting them dominate your thoughts. Embrace the freedom that comes with releasing the grip of past rejections and focus on building a future that aligns with your true potential. By doing so, you'll discover a new level of clarity and empowerment that will propel you toward greater success and fulfillment. Demonstrate your value. Prove your resilience. Now that we've discussed detachment, Let's shift our focus to a powerful way to respond to rejection, demonstrating your value. When faced with rejection, it's natural to feel disheartened, but instead of dwelling on the setback, consider how you can use this moment to showcase your resilience and strength. It's an opportunity to prove to yourself and others that you are capable of rising above challenges and continuing to excel. Think about a time when you faced a significant setback. Perhaps you were overlooked for a promotion or faced criticism on a project you poured your heart into. It's easy to feel defeated and question your abilities. But here's where the power of demonstrating your value comes into play. Instead of allowing rejection to define your worth, use it as motivation to push harder, strive for excellence, and prove that you're capable of achieving great things. When you demonstrate your value in the face of rejection, you're making a bold statement. You're showing that you have the resilience to overcome obstacles and the determination to succeed despite setbacks. It's about taking the feedback or rejection you received and channeling it into constructive actions that highlight your strengths and capabilities. 
This approach not only boosts your confidence, but also reinforces your commitment to personal and professional growth. Reflect on how you've responded to setbacks in the past. Have you used them as fuel to drive your success? Or did they leave you feeling discouraged? By choosing to demonstrate your value, you're embracing a mindset of growth and resilience. You're taking control of your narrative and proving that you're capable of turning challenges into opportunities for growth. Imagine the impact of showcasing your resilience. It's not just about proving yourself to others, but also about reinforcing your belief in your own abilities. When you demonstrate your value, you're making a powerful statement about your character and determination. It's about transforming rejection into a catalyst for growth and showing that you are unstoppable in the pursuit of your goals. So, as you navigate your journey, embrace the opportunity to demonstrate your value in the face of rejection. Use setbacks as stepping stones and let your resilience shine through. By doing so, you'll not only prove your strength to the world, but also reinforce your own belief in your ability to overcome challenges and achieve greatness. 6. Cut off contact. Regain your power. Through silence. In the realm of personal and professional relationships, there are moments when cutting off contact can be a strategic and empowering choice. It's a concept that might seem counterintuitive, but there's immense power in regaining control through silence. When faced with negativity, rejection or toxic interactions, sometimes the best response is to step back and reclaim your power. Picture this, you're involved in a situation where you're being mistreated, overlooked or constantly met with negativity. It's draining and emotionally taxing. In such cases, Cutting off contact can be a way to protect your well-being and assert your boundaries. It's not about abandoning relationships or being unkind. Rather, it's about recognizing when it's time to prioritize your own mental and emotional health. Cutting off contact can be an act of self-care and empowerment. When you distance yourself from negative influences or toxic interactions, you create space for positive and supportive relationships to flourish. It's about reclaiming your energy and focusing on environments that nurture your growth and well-being. By setting clear boundaries and limiting your exposure to negativity, you enhance your ability to thrive and pursue your goals with renewed vigor. Reflect on relationships or situations where cutting off contact might be beneficial. Are there interactions that consistently drain your energy or hinder your progress? By recognizing these dynamics and choosing to step away, you're taking a proactive approach to protecting your well-being. It's a way of demonstrating that you value yourself and your peace of mind. Imagine the freedom and clarity that comes with regaining your power through silence. It's not about avoiding confrontation, but about making a conscious choice to prioritize your own needs and boundaries. By cutting off contact with negativity, you open yourself up to more positive and fulfilling experiences. It's a strategic move that allows you to focus on what truly matters and cultivate relationships that align with your values and goals. So, as you navigate your journey, Consider the power of cutting off contact as a means of reclaiming your energy and well-being. It's about setting boundaries, protecting your peace, and focusing on relationships and experiences that contribute positively to your life. By embracing this approach, you'll find that you can better direct your energy toward achieving your goals and fostering a more fulfilling and supportive environment. 7. Prove them wrong, transform, doubt into determination. As we delve deeper into overcoming rejection, let's focus on a powerful mindset shift, proving them wrong. Rejection often comes with doubt and criticism, but what if you use those very doubts as fuel to drive your success? This mindset shift is about transforming negative energy into a source of motivation, showing not only others, but yourself, just how resilient and capable you truly are. 
Consider a moment when someone doubted your abilities or dismissed your potential. It's a common experience. And while it can be disheartening, it also presents a unique opportunity. Instead of letting their skepticism hold you back, use it as a catalyst for your growth. Imagine channeling that initial hurt and turning it into a determination to excel and surpass expectations. Think about the times when you felt most motivated. Was it when you were supported and praised? Or was it when you faced adversity and criticism? Often, it's the latter that sparks our deepest resolve. Proving someone wrong isn't just about personal vindication. It's about demonstrating your commitment to your goals and your ability to rise above challenges. It's a way of turning negative experiences into a powerful source of motivation. Reflect on the goals you've set for yourself and how you can use the doubts others have cast upon you to fuel your determination. Every challenge you face and every doubt you overcome is a testament to your strength and perseverance. By embracing the mindset of proving others wrong, you're reinforcing your own belief in your abilities and pushing yourself to achieve more than you initially thought possible. Imagine the satisfaction of surpassing the expectations set by those who doubted you. It's not just about proving a point, but about affirming your own capabilities and determination. When you channel negativity into a driving force for success, you're demonstrating your resilience and commitment to achieving your goals. This approach can transform rejection from a setback into a powerful motivator that propels you forward. So, as you continue on your journey, embrace the challenge of proving them wrong. Use doubt as a tool for growth and determination and let it fuel your drive to succeed. By turning negativity into motivation, you'll not only achieve your goals, but also reaffirm your own strength and capability. 8. Go out and have fun. Embrace joy to build resilience. In the midst of overcoming challenges and dealing with rejection, it's essential to remember the importance of joy and fun. Sometimes in the pursuit of success and dealing with setbacks, we can become so focused on our goals that we forget to enjoy the journey. Embracing joy and making time for fun isn't just about relaxation. It's a crucial aspect of building resilience and maintaining a positive outlook. Picture yourself after a challenging day. It's easy to get caught up in stress and frustration, but imagine how a little bit of fun could shift your perspective. Engaging in activities that bring you joy can be incredibly refreshing and help you recharge. It's about finding balance and ensuring that you're not solely defined by your challenges or rejections. Think about the activities that make you smile and bring a sense of fulfillment. Whether it's spending time with loved ones, pursuing a hobby, or simply taking a break to relax. These moments of joy are essential for maintaining your well-being. They provide a counterbalance to the stress and setbacks you face, allowing you to approach challenges with a clearer mind and renewed energy. Reflect on how integrating fun and joy into your routine can enhance your resilience. When you make time for activities that bring you happiness, you're better equipped to handle adversity and setbacks. Joyful experiences can act as a buffer against stress, helping you stay positive and motivated even when facing difficulties. Imagine the impact of incorporating more joy into your life. It's not about avoiding your responsibilities or challenges, but about recognizing the value of balancing hard work with moments of fun. By embracing joy, you're investing in your emotional resilience and overall well-being. This approach helps you maintain a positive outlook and better cope with the ups and downs of life. So, as you navigate your journey, remember to make time for fun and joy. Embrace the activities and experiences that bring you happiness and use them as a way to build resilience and maintain a positive mindset. By integrating joy into your life, you'll enhance your ability to face challenges with strength and optimism. 9. Build your social status. Focus on self-enhancement. 
As we continue to explore ways to overcome rejection and build resilience, let's turn our attention to the concept of building your social status through self-enhancement. It's about focusing on your personal growth and development, which in turn can elevate your social standing and create more opportunities for you. Imagine the impact of investing in yourself. When you focus on self-enhancement, you're not only improving your skills and knowledge, but also building a more confident and compelling presence. This investment in yourself can lead to increased recognition, respect and opportunities in both personal and professional spheres. It's about creating a positive impression through your growth and achievements. Consider the various aspects of self-enhancement, education, skills development and personal interests. By continually working on improving yourself, you enhance your value and increase your social status. This doesn't mean seeking validation from others, but rather building a solid foundation of confidence and competence that naturally attracts positive attention and respect. Reflect on the areas where you can focus on self-enhancement. Perhaps there are new skills you've wanted to develop or areas of knowledge you've been curious about. By pursuing these interests and dedicating time to personal growth, you're not only enriching your own life, but also positioning yourself as someone who is committed to continuous improvement. Imagine the benefits of a strong social status built on self-enhancement. It's not just about how others perceive you, but also about how you perceive yourself. When you invest in your own growth, you build confidence and create opportunities for meaningful connections and achievements. Your social status becomes a reflection of your commitment to self-improvement and personal development. So, as you continue on your journey, focus on building your social status through self-enhancement. Invest in your growth, pursue new skills and knowledge, and embrace opportunities for personal development. By doing so, you'll not only elevate your social standing, but also create a more fulfilling and successful path for yourself. 10. Act as if they don't exist. Prioritize your own peace. In the process of navigating rejection and building resilience, one of the most liberating practices is to act as if those who have caused you hurt or doubt don't exist. This approach isn't about denial, but about prioritizing your own peace and well-being over the opinions and actions of others. It's a powerful strategy for maintaining emotional stability and focusing on your own path. Imagine the freedom that comes from shifting your focus away from those who have impacted you negatively. When you act as if they don't exist, you're essentially removing their power over your emotions and decisions. This mental shift allows you to concentrate on what truly matters to you, rather than being sidetracked by the negativity or judgments of others. Consider how often we let the actions or opinions of others affect our state of mind. It's easy to get caught up in their criticisms or judgments, allowing them to overshadow our own thoughts and feelings. By adopting the mindset of acting as if they don't exist, you reclaim control over your emotional responses and redirect your energy toward more positive and productive pursuits. Reflect on the areas of your life where you may be allowing others to impact your peace. Are there specific individuals or situations that consistently disrupt your sense of tranquility? By consciously choosing to act as if they don't exist, you create a mental space where you can focus on your own goals and happiness without being influenced by external negativity. Think about the benefits of prioritizing your own peace. When you distance yourself from the influence of others, you're able to make decisions based on your own values and aspirations, rather than being swayed by external pressures. This approach fosters a sense of autonomy and empowerment, allowing you to move forward with greater clarity and purpose. Imagine the positive changes that can occur when you consistently practice this mindset. It's not about ignoring reality, but about choosing to protect your inner peace from unnecessary disturbances. 
by acting as if those who have caused you discomfort don't exist. You're making a conscious choice to prioritize your own well-being and focus on the aspects of your life that bring you joy and fulfillment. So, as you continue on your journey, embrace the practice of acting as if those who have impacted you negatively don't exist. Prioritize your own peace and well-being and redirect your energy toward positive and meaningful pursuits. By doing so, you'll create a more balanced and fulfilling path for yourself, free from the undue influence of others. Congratulations on reaching the end of this transformative journey. You've just unlocked the secrets to turning rejection into a powerful tool for personal growth and success. Remember, every no you encounter isn't a dead end, but a redirection towards something greater. By applying these 13 insightful lessons, you're equipped to navigate rejection with resilience and turn each setback into a stepping stone for achieving your goals. Drop a hundred in the comments if you've watched this far. It shows that you're among the rare few who truly commit to personal growth. If you're serious about making positive changes in your life, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more empowering content. Your journey to transforming rejection into opportunity starts now. Let's rise above and thrive together.